it's Anson. It's time for another fantastic home workout from the Fast Without a Team. I hope you're enjoying this working out at home. I know I'm not, but we need to keep you fit and we need to keep it fun. So today is a really nice um, a burner that means to, uh, to hurt your lungs a little bit, not in the way that Corona does, but in the way you will get fitter and better. All right. So um, for the warm up, you're going to start off with some Cossack squats. Make sure you have a steady surface that's not too slippery. And if you like your neighbors, make sure you're wearing your favorite socks instead of shoes, because in the workout itself, there will be some jumping. All right, for the Cossack squat, you're gonna stand uh, at like a sumo distance. So you're gonna open up your legs wide with the toes pointed out and then you're going to push your hip back and go to your right side. The other leg is stretched out and your toe is pointed upward. Make sure you get a big chest and go to the other side, same thing. Do that for 10 repetitions. So after 10 Cossack squats, go to the floor. Lay your back, feet below your knees, hip width. You're going to put one leg up at the same height of your other knee. And you're going to push up the knee, uh, the hip, explosively go down and once you touch the floor go back explosively again make sure you stretch out that leg and the knee stays at the same height during the whole movement after 10 repetitions switch legs and do another 10. after those we're going for 10 supermans we're going in the belly stretch out legs and arms and go up squeeze the glutes stretch out legs and arms and hold it there for a couple of seconds and relax and do it again for another second and repeat that 10 times all right after that you're going for a star plank so on a steady arm stretch out your legs on top of each other make sure the hip is stretched out fully so you're not pushing your hip to the back or to the floor make sure you're a plank from this position Get one hand up and get your leg up as well. If this is really hard, go to the elbow. You're going to open up your arm and your leg and you're going to hold that for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, switch to the other side. All right, now you've done Cossack squats, single leg hip bridges, supermans, and you did some of the star planks. Now do it again for another full round. After that, you're fully warmed up to do this beautiful long burn. All right, for the workout, you're going to do three rounds for time. We're going to start off with 30 reverse lunges. So, before the reverse lunge, you're going to step back, maybe a big step back, and you're going down at the same time. Make sure you're balanced all the way throughout, so you're stepping back a little bit in line. When you're balancing, but you're actually putting your leg and hip width to the back. All right, so 30 of those lunge steps. After that, go to the floor for bicycle crunches. It's like a sit up, but now you're actually doing a crunch and a bicycle movement as well. So you can pretend you're outside. Yeah. All right, 30 of these. Stretch out the leg every rep. And make sure you're not lying on the floor, just turning your elbows. Look, the shoulders come off the floor. You really crunch the abs as well. You can pick up the pace if you want to. After 30 of those, you're going for 30 high knees. So make sure your socks are looking good. And go for 30. Quick and high, high knees. Tap, 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 tap. Make sure that your neighbors know that you're working out. Important to motivate them as well. All right, after 30 of those, more jumping. But now this is a little bit harder. You're going for a skater jump. So like an ice skater would do, you're going to go from one leg, cross the other leg around and jump to the other side. And with the back leg, you're not doing that much except balancing and tapping the floor. Really make sure 
Your floor isn't slippery for this move because you have only have one foot to stabilize yourself. 30 repetitions. So that's the workout. 30 reverse lunges in total. 30 bicycle crunches, 30 high knees and 30 skater jumps. Three rounds and then you're done. All right. After that, if you have some gas left in the tank, we're going for a wall sit. And turn here a little bit. For the wall sit, make sure your feet are below your knees and you're at a 90 degree angle. And you're gonna just collect five minutes of sitting. You can add weight, but five minutes is a long time. So you can just hang out, put on a clock. If you're feeling like you really, really can't hold it, stand up, stretch out your legs, stretch up your hip, and go back to the wall again. Make sure that your feet aren't too much in front or to the back of your legs, but straight under your knees. All right, for the cool down. For the cool down, you're going to perform a twist. So you're gonna lay on your side. If your legs are in a 90 degree angle, you're going to twist them all the way to the left. Stretch out your arms and look to the right. Make sure that your legs, if they're touching the floor, your right shoulder is still on the floor as well. Hold that position for around one and a half minutes to put on a timer. After that, go to the other side and another one and a half minute of twisting. For the final stretch, you're going to do a single leg stretch. Make a figure four. So one leg goes in, the other leg stretched out. Toes pointed up, and you're going to push your hip forward. So you're not going to reach from your shoulders to your foot, but you're going to reach like bending from the hip. Where at that point is where you can grab your shin, grab your toes, maybe even grab your heel. Doesn't matter, but make sure that you're breathing all the way through. Breathing out. Go for the distance, breathing in. Correct your spine. Hold that position wherever it is for around one and a half minutes. After that, do the other leg. Then you're done. And another home workout in the books. So make sure that if you've done the workout, you annoyed your neighbors a little bit, but not too much, that you make an awesome video of this and post it on whatever social media platform you're on. And uh, tag CrossFit Fast Put Out in it. Peace, have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.